Let's look at a survey of common door issues, starting with doors, damaged frame, threshold, lintels, and trim. Our first picture depicts an exterior door with a badly bent frame. The way this fr frame is bent puts the door in a bind so that it does not close properly. Our next door doesn't close properly because it hits the frame as it closes. The frame of this bedroom door is split so that the striker plate has moved and the door no longer latches properly and no longer functions. That would be considered frame damage, but let's look now at some examples of hardware and lock damage. Our first two pictures have missing latch bolts, resulting in the doors not latching properly. The resulting holes could also be called surface damage, but what we're most concerned about in these pictures is the fact that the hardware no longer functions as intended due to the missing latches. One of the most common hardware issues we find in the common areas of larger buildings and healthcare facilities is automatic door closers that don't function. Uh, they may be missing, they may be disconnected, they may have come off the door. Uh, any place where a door does not close and latch automatically, this would be considered level 3 hardware damage assuming a fire rated door. So let's look at some surface damage issues. Our first door has broken glass. Broken glass is one of the criteria mentioned in the definition for damaged door surface. Here's a badly weathered mechanical area door on the outside of the building where the surface has begun to delaminate. Scrapes and gouges are considered holes in the door. Here's a door badly gouged on the edge. The edge of the door is considered part of the surface and holes in the edges of the door from missing hardware can be recorded as surface damage. Rust and the lack of protective finish are one of the more common door surface issues. Doors don't have to look nearly as bad as the doors in some of these examples to be considered damaged. Only a quarter inch hole can result in a level 3 sur surface damage deficiency on an exterior door, a fire door, or an emergency exit door. Make sure you fill holes when changing hardware. On properties where doors receive a lot of rough use and abuse, also consider installing protective hardware as seen in this photo to protect the door surface and the door hardware. The manager at this property told me that this damage was done by cable installers trying to gain access to the building on weekends. Here's an example of level 3 surface damage on a bathroom door caused by the door stop that attaches to the hinge. Here's some moisture damage caused by unpainted edges on this door. We frequently see scrapes like this on doors in healthcare facilities and common area kitchens where employees hit the door with carts. We'll have some more examples of all these types of damage, but let's look at some screen door issues. I want to first point out that this security door has a double cylinder lock requiring a key to exit the building, which may pose an egress issue. For normal screen doors, any type of damage up to and including a screen door completely missing would be a level one deficiency unless it is a security door. Let's move on to examples of deteriorated missing caulking and seals. The sweep at the bottom of the door is part of the weather stripping and seals on a door. Part of the brush type seal on this aluminum door is missing so that the door does not seal properly. Where we see daylight coming in around the weather stripping on the door, that would be considered a deteriorated seals issue at level 3. Here's another example of a damaged sweep. Our last type of door damage is missing doors, and in the example photographs there's a closet door off the track. The door is there in the room, but it's completely off the track, so it's missing from where it should be that makes it a missing door. With that, I'm going to bring up the background music and let you enjoy the doors.
Thank you.